I'm going to show you how to maneuver someone who cannot lift their hips. Okay. And so I'm in the center of the bed. If you turn me now, I'm going to fall off the bed. So mm -hmm. if you'll gather or lift both of my shoulders, so and don't touch the bed while you're doing it. So it's okay. going to be up. Your hands can touch, but your legs can't. Okay. So I'm go gonna under, you over. and it's going to be go under, like really get me. And under. it's going to be go up, lift me up, and now bring me over. Okay. Do the same for my hips. Go under, bring me up and over. Do the same for my legs. Up and over. This leg right here, you want to bend the knee and cross it over. Bend okay, the bend knee me. and cross it over. All right, so now before you turn me, if you want to go ahead and prepare your pad, roll it halfway. All right, and I need to be able to see you, so come on over here so I can make sure it's not touching you. And so usually you're always in the back of your patient. Okay. All right, and so you can put that within arm's reach, so um, you can bring your table closer. You can put it towards the foot of the bed. You want to, because you want to, you're gonna have to push me. Okay. So. Um, so I would recommend you bend this, mm -hmm. and now sit it towards my feet, near my feet, so that way it's within arm's reach. Put it on the bed. Your hands are gonna go under my heavier joints. Where are my heavier joints? Um, I would think your hips. Okay, and then shoulders. So okay. your hands go under hips and shoulders. That's over. Under. under. Okay. Hips and shoulders. You're so spreading I don't out wanna, one okay. You're spreading out my Okay, weight. so I don't want to just grab in one area. Mm -hmm. Okay, so shoulder okay. and hips. And now you're going to talk to me and you're going to say on the count of three I'm going to turn you. Okay, on the count of three I'm going to turn you, okay? One, two, three. Good job. And so what's the purpose of bending the knee? What happened? It stops it you stops. from... Okay, and so now you can stand up straight. And now mm. you're going to put that pad beneath me. Mm. Baby, hurry up. I got to pee. Okay. <laughs> All right, All right so now you. when you get that bedpan, remember, this is this is part one. You put down the pad. The mm -hmm. second part is putting down that bedpan. You have your bedpan? Yep. Which put direction? Put bedpan under you, okay? okay? And you're pushing it under me. You're like You're like making a little indentation. So not like this. It's like, like this. Solid. Oh. Yeah, get it under me. Okay, now bring, you want to hold the bedpan mm -hmm. with one hand. Make I sure it's it. easy release. And with the other hand, you're going to pull my hips back on. Okay. I'm going to turn you back over, okay? Okay. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay, in the Good. real world, what would you do with my legs? Um, I would move them over. Um, don't move them over. You want to make sure that all the urine falls into the bed. Oh, hand. yeah. So, so you would to make sure. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Good. Okay, and so, so you can good. see everything. Mm -hmm. All right. So you can always roll that pad out more. So you all, you need to work on getting that pad out more. Good job. I'm not touching the bed. Okay. Good job. Mm -hmm. And if you were, if you thought you were going to touch the bed, or if your hair was touching me, what would you have to do? Correction. Correction, and then Pull walk here. around. Okay, so that what you did only works if you're not touching me or touching the bed. Okay. All right, and so in the real world, you'd sit me up, give me time to urinate, mm -hmm. but I'd be somebody who couldn't wipe myself. So you wouldn't do it right now. We have mm -hmm. another skill um, called perineal care that we'll be okay. performing on the mannequins. Okay. But in the real world, you take toilet paper. Once I had done whatever I was going to do, and for this skill, it's just urination, you would push the toilet paper down, which means the front of me would be dry. Okay. However, the back side is still wet. So now we got to figure out how to remove everything. Let's switch out. Good job, Q. All right, so Cindy's coming to the stage. All right, so Cindy, I'm now I'm dry in the front. I've urinated. I want you to reach over or either walk to the other side and start rolling this pad in. If you can do so by reaching over, you're welcome to. Nope, she's like, I'm not risking it. <laughs> Touching the baby. Roll it in, roll it in. Doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to make sure that when you turn me, you can get it. Push it some, get it under me. Good. Right. And so now when you walk back to the other side, this is when it gets tricky because if you just push me, my my bottom is now plastered to this bedpan mm -hmm. by the suction cup effect. So if you just turn me, what's going to happen to the urine? It's going to be all over you. Mm -hmm. So right on the bed. one hand is going to have to hold the bedpan down, and the other hand is going to push me off the bedpan. You got this. All righty. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. Okay. You holding on to it? Hold on, and oh, I ain't ready yet. I ain't ready. Wait, hold on. All of y'all are trying to look on bugs. Okay. You need to be looking at that bedpan when you're doing. Oh, this I got it. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to turn you to get the bedpan off. Okay. I 
I'm gonna count to three and I'm gonna lift you, okay? One. You're saying on three, but you're pushing me already. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. One, One, two, three, push. Two, three. Okay, now slow down because my bottom is still wet with urine, right? Right. Mm -hmm. So which direction would you wipe me if you were in the real world? So I'm, I'm good. I'm gonna wipe you back to so the front. Front, front to back to back okay so, and if you remove this too fast you won't have a place to put your used toilet paper okay okay so now if you'll just take this away for classroom purposes only you can take it to the bathroom all right and then q while she's taking that to the bathroom oh actually because q already did a lot of movement um just sit it on top of the the toilet just for classroom purposes because we know you know how to clean your items and then come back to me and get me situated. All right, All right. and now I'm gonna go ahead and bring you back. Okay. You ready? Mm -hmm. One, two. And now you gotta get me recentered in the bed. So. Shoulders first. Oh. Don't touch the bed. Correction. Okay. Up and center. You're barely moving me, young lady. <laughs> I'm sorry. Up and center. My legs. Up and 